Hey, welcome back to uh, Straight Talk, and uh, we'll get back into the discussion. Uh, uh, from the last break, we were talking about the thing. One of the things that I felt like is coming in between the two positions that you guys were outlining. And one is, you know, uh, and it's not just me. There are people, uh, women, who are saying, you know, I mean, this is the 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 term uh, uh, roscanagete. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not saying I'm sure if I'm saying that entirely correctly, but that's the men. Um, versus, say, necessarily a uniform. Uh, but somewhere in between, though, there, there is a way. There is a way, because the, on the one side of the fence, is, is not, don't do anything, and the police can't do it all. You know, the people just can't be everywhere at all times to every situation. And, and so now, if the men in the community want to take on the role of protecting the community, how do we do that in the best way? And if men come together and they say, well, we're going to do this, okay, because we care about our community, and this gets to where I think what Carl is saying, uh, and where a lot of people are coming from, is then we'll do it, okay? Now, the mechanics of how that work, I, 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 I'm heartened by the fact that there is a dialogue that's open. You know, because they're not talking about having people go around like vigilantes uh, going around pulling people over and uh, whacking them over the head and stuff like that. But protocols, <clears throat> ways of dealing with it. And yes, there, 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 there ought to be some training. Don't just put somebody in a car and say, okay, go out and patrol. Yeah, you know, and that was discussed in that, and, and those discussions are ongoing between the chief of police and various uh, individuals uh, who initiated this uh, at the 207 Long House, I yeah. think we're all aware out there that there was a pr press release from the 207 Long House and you had kind of be around your show uh, sort of spearheading the thing. And, and like I said before, uh, the men in the community are taking a proactive approach in protecting the community and that only and only only good things can, can come out of it. But uh, uh, there's a flip side of that. We have to understand and realize that the peacekeepers, uh, they're well trained um, uh, to handle any situation in the community. Uh, um, and they're the professionals to handle uh, certain situations. Not to say that uh, the men in the community haven't been involved in, in stressful situations. I'm sure they have. It's just uh, uh, for the safety uh, of themselves. Uh, let yeah. the peacekeepers handle yeah. certain situations. And, and you know, there are more uh, of an extra set of eyes out there um, just to have sort of a presence. I think everybody's seen uh, their trucks, they're, they're identified <coughs> with, the, with the warrior flag. And, you know, and, and like, that's that that was my that that was my you know my concern at the end of the day is um, regardless of the amount of minimal training that you're going to do opposed to what the, the police are going to be doing on an ongoing basis and and dealing with situations like whatever they're going to come up every day whereas the normal individual won't regardless of whether they're on the spot or not and I'm I'm just saying that it's important I guess that. Every, the, there are the, there are protocols and that there are you know checks and balances somewhere and 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 you see the thing is 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 where does it I always look at the end of the day and I look at the big picture I don't look at what's there I mean if you, if you look what what's on the surface everything is always it's always good until something happens and then then how do you deal with it afterwards uh, I'll give you an example uh, somebody makes a complaint about about the police um, there's a chain of command that, that has to be followed up to deontology. If you want to, if you say, if you want to say it, going out of this community. But when you're looking at community watch, then what does that mean? Uh, if there's a complaint about somebody that they're they know, roughed up, uh, say a friend, friend of uh, yeah. a non-native that's coming here to see somebody. And I mean, other than charging them, you know what I mean? Other than charging them, what's what's the process in that? And 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 is it? It's not going to be the same as is with with the law enforcement officer so I'm just because I, I look at the worst case scenarios and hopefully that'll never happen but unfortunately I, I play the tape to the end and, and I and and how do we deal with those today instead of um, when they happen and that those are just I guess my concerns looking at it from you know my background because so the meeting that I had had and what I had taken out of that was um, the, the men who were in charge of I'm going to say selecting men but there were some men that uh, volunteered their time. Uh, what type of process they're going to go through to say, yeah, you're you're fit to 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 handle it or or not? But uh, they want to make sure that they you know these men understand that uh, um, you know 
you know, you know, there's they're sort of an extra set of eyes in our community, and and that uh, at the end of the day, uh, the, the peacekeepers uh, are um, the trained individuals uh, to handle uh, any and all situation in the community, and and, and like they have been from day one. And it's very clear. No one is carrying weapons either. No, no. to my understanding, no. I mean, flashlight, a, a radio. Depends uh, on your training. They're all weapons, but uh. no, no, but even on, yeah. nobody's very clear about saying nobody's bringing a gun here. Forget that, you know. Uh, I, I don't think people are going to end up discussing, you know, like how because there is a discussion as to number one that it isn't you don't have policing powers; mm -hmm. those are not part of the package. However, there is a discussion <coughs> as to when is it appropriate to detain somebody. And that's where you sort of you're, you're, you're looking at it a little bit closely. There are legal, <coughs> excuse me, yeah. legal aspects to uh, and, 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 you and detain that's some, somebody, and that's jeopardize some of the, the bigger uh, things. You know, we, we talked about this um, even before all this situation happened on our show about um, having an, another, I guess, entity to do um, some of the things that the police are doing now. And I'll give you an example. But the reason why we were talking about it was about, um, you know, the, the new uh, signs, the signs, the, yeah. the, the garbage, the, what is it? We, I call it the garbage law, but... Um, yeah, sanitary, sanitary uh, conditions you know, law. Yeah. And, and stuff like that. And I said, well, you know, in some communities, they have banned bylaw officers and then they have their police force. So the, the, uh, the areas where the police aren't going to move your car, do this, do that. I mean, even though in a smaller community it's there, but we're, we're growing now and, and there's such a big population that we have to, and a lot of things that we have to do is like, we should have another entity to do that. And then the police should, it's, should do all the law enforcement area if it's just to write a ticket or, or to Well, right now, obviously, you know what I mean? Uh, you have the conservation that's in place right now. I mean, uh, they help out in, in various situations, whether it be traffic control or, mm -hmm. or for searches for individuals, for lost individuals, or yeah. be on the north wall in that area, so. We just need uh, to expand their 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 role, though. Yeah. If well, we expand one example role, is you, 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 that I can think of, uh, that which probably fits in what you're talking about in the city, for instance. They have people who uh, do the parking violation thing. Yeah. But I mean, regardless, they just, so here, tickets for that. here we have everything. We have the infrastructure already in place in this community, as far as like the conservation are concerned and stuff like that. But if if they expanded their their duties uh, more and, and 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 allowed them to to do those those things, then it would free up a lot from, from the police. And then, you know, one of the bigger complaints that even I make, and I talk about this all the time, and I, it's, not, it's not that I, I'm against the police at all, I'm 100% for them. I mean, I've been there for enough years to, to, not, to, to not be the opposite side of that. Um, there's a lot of good things that are going on, obviously there's stuff that could be done better, put it that way. But in order to bolster that and to help out in where a lot of the complaints that our people in the community are making is that we call them and they take forever or they never show up or this or whatever the circumstances may be without without knowing the reasons for it. You know, some people say I called and, and they never come, they never showed, they never showed up ever. You know, I said, well, did you call them back? Well, what, does it matter? They're not going to do anything anyway. So how do you get rid of that? And we talked about the public relations part of the policing, which needs to happen. but. But I still think that let's let's expand that. To, but what's already there, like for instance, the conservation. Why don't we expand that program? Uh, there's that patrol. That's another part of it. So if you have multiple uh, parts of it, but then obviously the justice is going to be in charge, with, and then the policing, and and you sort of just a tier system that will help everybody out. That's yeah, but like I said, if we were to expand, like say conservation, <clears throat> obviously it comes down to dollars and training. Oh, no, I understand and that. that. Or, yeah. yeah. So I mean, but uh, you know, try and utilize them the you know the way they are now, and uh, you know, use it, utilize them to the best that we could. I mean, like I said before, uh, whether it be uh, in regards to traffic or, or uh, searches or underwater uh, stuff like that, they're re they're really helpful to the peacekeepers, and and um, um, you know they should keep up the the, the work, good work, and I'm sure they're you know they're well appreciated by you know by the peacekeepers. So well, we're going to take a break right now. Uh, and we'll come back uh, for more discussion on Straight Talk. Don't go away.